He's one of the biggest combat athletes of all time. He's collected titles and millions of dollars from the UFC and boxing realms. And now, Conor McGregor owns a multi-million dollar speedboat made by the Italian car giant Lamborghini. Today we're going to take a look at this gorgeous yacht in detail. We'll look at all the features and see whether it's worth the hefty price tag. On top of that, we'll also examine some of the other amazing boats that have been created by different supercar companies, all of which are also worth a fortune. So let's get started. We'll start by looking at Notorious's career. Throughout his stay in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, McGregor has held the featherweight and lightweight titles. Some of the biggest earning matches include facing off against Dustin Poirier in January and July 2021. He reportedly received $5,011,000 for each contest before any pay-per-view bonuses. In 2017, McGregor took on the legendary Floyd Mayweather in a much-publicized boxing match. Just for turning up for the battle, McGregor was guaranteed $30 million into his bank account. It's believed by reports that he made an additional $100 million from the match. Due to his massive celebrity, sponsors have flocked to the Irish fighter. Burger King, Reebok, Monster Energy, and Beats by Dre are just some of the companies that have endorsed McGregor. In 2017, Forbes claimed that he was bringing in $7 million annually from these deals, yet in 2020, that number jumped to $16 million. In 2018, McGregor co-founded the whiskey Proper Number 12. The following year, the company made over $1 billion in global sales. By 2021, McGregor and his partner's shares were sold to Proximo Spirits, who had previously owned 49% of the company. The shares were purchased for a collective $600 million. According to reports, McGregor received $150 million in the deal. Due to all this, according to Forbes, at the time of writing, McGregor has a net worth of $180 million. McGregor has always had a love of boats. Once he received that massive paycheck from the Mayweather battle, according to reports, he purchased a vessel. He named it the 188 in reference to the amount of euros he was receiving in social welfare in Ireland before he became famous. He later gifted the ship to his dad, Tony McGregor. So now he was boatless. Well, good thing Lamborghini soon had some good news for him. Back in 2020, the Italian car manufacturers announced the birth of the model named the Technomar for Lamborghini 63. They collaborated with the Italian Sea Group to create their first ever boat. The 63 is a reference to the year of Lamborghini's creation. On top of that, only 63 Technomar will ever be created. Within a few months of the announcement, McGregor signed up to receive one, and he finally got it in July 2021. The first recipient got theirs the month prior. The design of the boat was inspired by the futuristic hypercar, the Lamborghini Cyan FKP37, and the electric sports model, the Terzo Millennio. The Technomar 63 features many of the famous angles, hexagons, Y-shaped headlights, and sharp, clean edges that Lamborghini is known for. Even the windscreen is elegantly created. The boat's helm is inspired by the steering wheel used in the Aventador. The vessel even has the iconic badge on the front of it. The boat was originally for sale for 3 million euros, around 3.4 million dollars at the time. As for the features, the Technomar 63 is powered by two MAN V12 engines, each able to provide 2,000 horsepower. It also has a top speed of 60 knots or 69 miles per hour. The vessel is made mostly from carbon fiber. As a result, even though it's 63 feet in length, it only weighs 24 tons. The Technomar 63 comes with three different layouts. Firstly, there's the lounge version, with pen space layout being the key ingredient. There's a fully stocked galley, a day head for guests, and a large open lounge with sofas. There's also a private bathroom for the owner. Another variant is the one cabin version. You can probably guess why it's called that. The luxury interior from the lounge version is kept, and the galley is divided at the bow to help form the cabin. It's able to hold a king-size bed and has a large space for relaxing within. Finally, there's the two-cabin version. Two independent cabins are formed. The master suite is still able to host a king-size bed. 
while the guest cabin can fit two people with space for a double bed that can separate into two singles. According to reports, McGregor's boat was custom-made for the fighter. He allegedly spent a further $500,000 on upgrades, giving us a total price for his Technomar 63 of around $3.9 million. Lamborghini isn't the only car company that's taken the plunge in the ocean, as Bugatti have also dipped their toes into the market. In 2017, news broke on the $4 million Ninjet 66 Superboat, but in 2020, a design concept using Bugatti made some waves. Promise, last water pun. The Lazzarini Design Studio put together an idea for the Xenos. This bullet-shaped yacht was inspired by Bugatti's work. The 131-foot-long Xenos is built for speed. Buyers can choose twin, triple, or quadruple engine setups, giving the boat the capacity to produce between 7,300 to 15,000 horsepower. The Xenos will be able to hit a huge 90 knots, which is nearly 104 miles per hour. Other features include roof-mounted solar panels, auto-tinting windows, air sanitation recycling system, thermal scanners, and UV germicidal lamps. The boat will also have one living room on the upper deck and one on the lower deck, three suites, and a galley. There's also a garage. This is useful because a Bugatti Chiron worth $3 million is provided for free. Altogether, the Xenos is said to cost $39 million. Also getting in on the boat action is Porsche. Using their subsidiary Studio F.A. Porsche, they worked in collaboration with Dutch naval architectural firm Van Usenen, whilst shipbuilding company Dynamic made their design come to life. In 2018, the Dynamic GTT 115 was released to the world, and only seven of them have or will ever be created, making it very rare. The 115-foot-long ship is designed for luxury, with the interior filled with neutral tones and dark wood. Up to six guests can stay on board the GTT with three ensuite cabins. A further two guests can stay in a double room. Of course, there's also a master suite. The main deck features a sun deck that has an alfresco dining area, sun loungers, and a jacuzzi. There's also a Williams 505 tender included that can cost up to $70,700. The windows are XIR glass, which provides maximum light transmission whilst blocking harmful UV rays. Prices for the GTT 115 start from 12.5 million euros, around $14.7 million. But with all the extras and packages included, such as deck furniture by Glenn Peter Machen, you're looking at paying nearly 16.1 million euros, or $19 million. Final fact finish. Whilst cruising the seas near Ibiza in 2017, McGregor spotted a boat that made him drool. Called Sailing Yacht A, this vessel is owned by Russian billionaire Andrei Melnichenko. Seeing the 469-foot vessel inspired McGregor to make more cash to get a boat just like Melnichenko's. McGregor will have to save up a lot as it reportedly cost around $500 million. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.